Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archer. It's our choice. Take him. I decided not to shoot twice. I thought it was better that way. Welcome to this week's choice. This week we are practicing. Yes, we are practicing. You might say, what are they doing? It's real simple. Proper planning prevents poor performance. Really? Yes. How many P's is that? I'm not going to say. This week's show, I know you're pretty excited about it. Well, yeah. R Ralph and I, we've, we've done a little wild or fowl hunting, not much, and I guarantee you I am not an expert. No, none of us are. Trust us. I mean, we don't, and we never claim to be any experts in anything. But we're trying to show the choice of all weapons, all, all species, game. all game. And all this week's show. Yes, this week's show, we got Tony Permanian, posse member, and Freddie. Yep. They went up to Canada. With, with Tony's brother, Danny. Yep. They had a great time. Bust in the skies. And we've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of really great footage to show you guys. So listen, the first night up there, the first day up they're there. They're goose hunting. They're, they're going for Canadian geese. They're going for Canadian geese, eh, in Canada. Do they go, hong, gay? Hong, <laughs> Let's hong. Pull the footage. This is hong. pretty cool. See, we, we practiced this. One more trick to this game is uh, this, matching the surroundings. Final approach is put in uh, straps in here so you can Put whatever you're grasping it, uh, underneath them and it holds it in place so that when you flip the sides open when you cover up again it stays in there it doesn't just fall off the blind so we're just taking a little uh straw here and stuffing it up underneath these and uh just kind of mudding the blinds a little bit and blending them with the ground we have a pit here where fred's going to be actually underground up to his shoulders and um mojo built a product called the uh, blind gilly and uh here, I'm going to walk over here and show you this. It's unbelievable how this matches. They've even put black and, and yellow in here. So the, the black looks just like the soil and the yellow just like the straw stubble that we're in. And actually, this is a pit that we dug. So uh, it's almost just like a step. Freddie's legs go down in here. He sits right here. This stuff covers up his whole back. And the uh, cameraman's completely gone. Tony, you are about to get a rude awakening. I didn't even see that bird down at my feet. Yeah, right, like you didn't see that bird. <laughs> Put that remote down. The choice will be right back. Welcome back to the choice. Now, let's continue on with the first day's goose hunting. What are you doing in the blind? Knocking it over on me? That's it, I've only got that one. Get it, Tucker. Get that bird, Tucker. Get that bird, Tucker. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 
Winnipeg, Manitoba. Unbelievable. <laughs> Right here, Danny, to the right, Danny. Right here, Danny. Straight on the deck. Good boy, Tucker. Good boy, Tucker. You're a good dog, Tucker. Sorry I didn't wait for you to say go, Dave. Watch that single. I got four right at my feet, locked up. Where do those two come from? Outfitters, baby. Oh, Manitoba. Oh, yeah. Freddy, Freddy. That was four birds. Was, was it? Double, I shot double. two. Yeah, double, double. baby. That double, was, double. That was Woo, four awesome. birds. Awesome. <laughs> hey, guys, can you believe it? That finishes our limit with a double. Dad, double. You know what? We just, oh, this is just too crazy. We, have, we got up and we got set up a couple hours ago. It's 5.30. We just finished our limit with the double-double. I shot two, Tony shot two. It was our last four birds. Traditions, Traditions these over and unders are spectacular. Prairie Wings Outfitters just outside of Winnipeg, Manitoba. <laughs> you cannot ask for anything better. All right, folks, this is the end of our day up here in Winnipeg. We hunted today with Prairie Wing Outfitters. Uh, Craig Walker and Dave Malco here with us, the owners. Uh, we just had an absolutely fantastic <laughs> shoot. Four limits of birds. From the time we got set up this evening, it was just nonstop action the whole time. Um, just the sheer amount of birds up here is just something you really have to see the experience. It's, it's just incredible. Had a fantastic shoot. Um, point blank range shooting. I mean, the birds just couldn't have decoyed better. We're shooting over six dozen magnum shells. Uh, Dave has a fantastic spread here. Put it out. We dug the blinds in here. Dug a little pit for the cameraman to hide in and it was just the, the birds just couldn't have come in better we had a fantastic time um special thanks to uh ralph and vicky for sending us on these uh difficult jobs that they send us on <laughs> we uh we really appreciate it amen but you get a chance to come up to winnipeg look up craig and uh dave you just you won't have a bad time up here prairie wing outfitters it's just fantastic i could dig these Let's get on with the guys on the second morning hunt. They're setting up and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Duck hunting a tough way, right? <laughs> hey Tony, they say white guys can't dance. You live in proof. Basically what we did on this trip is, you know, you never know what you're getting yourself into. Um, so. We're pretty avid waterfowlers at home. And uh, I mean, this is a small piece of our rig at home. And uh, we brought some field full body mallards, some field mallard shells, uh, motion stackable uh, Canada geese, motion stackable snow geese. So um, we've got a 
whole pile of stuff that we can use out here today and tomorrow, just depending on what uh, what the game brings, you know. So uh, we brought our own layout lines, you know. So we're pretty much set for whatever whatever happens. We're ready for the game. So he says they got lots of birds flying, and hopefully we're going to show them a nice decoy spread and try to get them to work into it. All right. What we have here is a bunch of uh, stackable shells, motion shells. We kind of spread out the snows and blues, put the blinds in the taller straw stubble here, and we got the Canada's on the upwind side. We're mixing in some uh, silhouettes here, and um, because the snows stack up so high above you, and they almost drop straight down on you, instead of like coming low and downwind more like a Canada goose. So. Um, we're gonna finish setting the spread. We probably have about the 16, 18 dozen decoys set. We uh, dug the pit. We're grassing in the, uh, the coffin blinds now and uh, just have to wait for sun up after this. And I think we're gonna have a pretty good shoot this morning. Welcome back to Choice. Now let's get into the second day where they've got more ducks, Canada goose, and snows. What are you doing? Just practicing, checking for clear skies. You need like a pivot blind? <sighs> Gotta be serious about this waterfall. <laughs> Three left side. Oh, I didn't even see him. Nice shot. I never even saw that bird. Nice shot, Dano. Hey. Hey, Fred. Freddy, let's switch, man. I've killed snows before. Let's switch. Get in there. <laughs> Look at all these birds. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I can't see him. I'm not loaded. Kill him. I'm not loaded. Shoot him. I was trying, sorry. Good shot, Dan. Watch that bird. 
Don't worry about me. I'm just a goose. <laughs> There's no need to fear me. <laughs> Where's that traditions? I need that thing. <laughs> hey Goomba, I think you better cut off the caffeine for a little bit. We're up here in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba with Prairie Wings Outfitters. We have our owners, Dave Malco and Craig Walker. And uh, we came out here and set up this morning. We put out about uh, 15 or 20 dozen snows and a bunch of Canadian geese. And uh, just an awesome shoot, man. I mean, we got we got green heads that we shot this morning, just some great green heads. We got some blues and some awesome snows and Canadians as well. Just, uh, just awesome. I mean, Dave and Craig really worked for us and put us on the birds. And we let the tradition speak and bark all morning long. And they performed well. We just, uh, we want to say thanks to Dave and Craig for the invite. And uh, if you're a waterfowler, man, I, I know I love my waterfowl and I know these guys love it too. And it just, it doesn't get any better than this. Prairie Wings Outfitters, Winnipeg, Manitoba. All I have to say is thanks guys. It's been an awesome Thank trip, you, Dave. Thanks buddy. You're Thank welcome. you so much for the invite. Welcome back to the choice. Now it's the last day hunt. The guys are set up for snows and mallards. See what happens. So last night here with uh, Prairie Wings, we've had three fantastic shoots. And um, this is the last one of the night. We expect the same. We're just uh, driving down the road, coming out to this field of set. And we're estimating, but pretty pretty good estimate that uh, it's about 25 to 30,000 geese sitting on a slough about uh, as a crow flies two miles from here. So uh, we should have uh, tons of birds working tonight. So uh, hang on tight and we'll see what kind of shoot we can have for you guys tonight. Them. The ducks dropping all over the place. Well guys, uh, I don't know about you guys, my shoulder's sore. <laughs> we had an awesome night. These guys just put us on another great field. Shot three limits of mallards in a couple hours. And a couple pintails. I mean, just, we, yeah, we were being picky. We saw some pintails working in and out of the groups of mallards, the hundreds and hundreds of groups of mallards that we saw tonight. And uh, you know, once again, you waterfowlers, if you, you love what you do, and I'm sure you do, Head up here to Manitoba, come up here and talk to our buddies Dave Malco and Craig Walker from Prairie Wings Outfitters. The proof is in the pudding, guys. These guys do their scouting, they put their work in, and if this doesn't say everything, uh, I don't know what else to say about it, <laughs> you know? Hey, we hope you enjoyed this week's choice show. That was easy for you to say. Yes, I almost stuttered. But, you know, we want to thank... Prairie Wing Outfitters. For, up, in, up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, for having the guy, hosting the guys up there and showing them what Canada... Not only do they have big game hunting, but they have a pile of waterfowl to 
to offer, you they, know, they, all they of us. They took all different kinds of, of waterfowl up there, different geese, different ducks. I mean, they had a blast. And they were there only a few days. And I mean, they got a, they got a ton of footage, a they lot did. of action. And you know what? Isn't that what we're all looking for anyways? Again, it's your choice. That's right. So we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. See you we'll next week. We'll see you week. next week.